All right, so I have finished my ink drawing, my pen. Um, I've added texture everywhere and looked at all the places to fill in um, as much texture as possible, balancing, um, balancing different thicker lines, thinner lines, texture, uh, smooth. So I'm thinking a lot about juxtaposition. And now I've made my water line. So everything from here down, I'm gonna use watercolor. So you will need, I gave everyone um, some watercolor and in this little piece. And I'm gonna fill this maybe up to about here. Just cover, just gonna cover this piece. And you don't have to use the whole piece if you don't want to. You can use, um, you can use half of it, whatever. You, you, you can go as, you want this to be really, really watered down. You don't want this to be super thick. So I'm getting the color and you can use it just like this or you could wait till this melts more. Uh, I will wait till it melts just a little more because I definitely want it to be see-through. So your pen isn't waterproof. So you will, your pen will smear a teeny bit, but that's good because your pen, um, you want it to look like it's underwater. You just don't want it to completely smear. So make sure you have a nice brush that you'd like to use. And I just wanna show you, before I start this, I wanna show you my sample that I did. And I highly recommend you do this uh, on, you could do it in your sketchbook, that would be a good place. I did this little sample here to see how, what I made, how it's going to turn out before I put it on my final art. So I highly recommend you doing a sample. And I think I'm gonna go with how it is right now. Um, you want it to be pretty wet and you just have to go for it. So let's see, I'm going to start over here. And brush. See how you, I'm getting the black in there right now? So I'm going to dab it a little bit and then come back to it with a fresher amount of blue. So this is a little bit bluer than I intended. So I'm dipping my brush also in the water that I have and I can make it a little more transparent. I wanna do that the whole way. So you wanna do this pretty much in one sitting and not keep going back and forth and letting it dry in between, because if you do, then it's going to, you know, leave weird marks. So, <clears throat> put a little more water there. And you could dab too, you don't have to, you don't have to wipe. Dabbing works as well. So you can sort of, not smear the ink as much. See how it's it's getting pretty dark there. So I'm gonna dab my brush so I get the black off. Try not to have white spots. Yeah, so I definitely recommend you having water 
clear water and the water that you've mixed with the watercolor. close by. And you don't want to soak it so much that your paper starts to warp terribly. It might a little bit, but I actually think I gave you um, watercolor paper so it wouldn't be so soppy to do this with. Some of you have purple instead of blue, and that's okay. Both will look super cool. If you have really thick marks like that, try to avoid completely rubbing over them with your paintbrush because you don't want too much black mixed in to these, to this water effect. Careful around your water line that you don't have too much water on your brush because <clears throat> it will drip. Around it. Now I'm going to just make sure there aren't any areas that are standing out as really white. So I'll go around and, or any areas that are so blotchy it doesn't look like water. Start to sort of look at the bigger picture of the water and make sure that I like the overall look. So I might darken it in some areas or add more blending if it's possible. Swirls help. So it might also be <clears throat> a little bit darker at the bottom 
of the water. Then at the top, less light would get down there. So this needs to dry. There are some areas I want to fill in a little bit more. That needs to dry. <laughs> Keep seeing little spots. And once it dries, you will sign it. Voila, it is finito. Oh, it looks so cool. That is my absurd submerged structure.